Hey. We are all together. The boat, the, the boat bros are live in Arizona. Let's go. For the uh oh. for the old man boat bros uh father birthday. Yeah. Wait, right. did that make any sense? I didn't make yeah, any not sense. Not at all. Not that at didn't all. make any not sense what I just said, but Bolt yeah. Papa's birthday. Bolt Papa. <laughs> Bolt Papa. Yeah. So uh we're all gonna be going out doing a hike and we got I don't know what's going on in the background there. Yeah. So there's a lot of no- bad. Okay. Hang on a second. So George Ortiz is cooking still. And, uh, you know, a lot going on here. And, Aether, bring the heat. Bring the heat. Let's get it. He always does. He, he, always, always, does. he, he, always, he always brings the heat. What's up, Goom? Yeah, How are we doing? cooking some bacon with that heat. Yeah, yeah no exactly. Doubt. No doubt. But we got a lot to talk about, you know. And uh, I, don't, I don't really suspect a lot's going to happen today. Yep. Uh, but there's a lot of discussions. And, uh, you know, we want to get into some, some more free agents we could continue signing. And yep. talk about Keenan Allen a little more. Oh, here you go. Bring out the tissues. <laughs> hey, I, I need to get ready. We need a tissue. <laughs> I, I didn't, we, I didn't have a we, we, we need a tissue. But a uh, lot to discuss, guys. So let's get into it. I'm Dale Henley. You watching the Boat Bros podcast? Let's, let's do it. All righty, guys. Ooh. Okay, a lot to discuss. And, um, again, George, is cooking. Making moves. Making moves. He's making moves, folks. Okay, just so you guys know, Sport – actually, let's just double-check it here. Sport Track has us at $29 million in cap space yep. now. Yeah. Nice. Yo, that's that's a lot of money. You could do a lot with it. We're going to talk yep. more about free agents yep. that are still available. Um, and we want to get your opinions on things that we should go – or players we should go after as well. Yep. Um. What's up, guys? Oh, here yeah, we go. Here up, we guys? go. Hey. Go, Chachas, go. 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 Oh. Yes, I was at that game. <laughs> oh, you were? At that game, yeah. You were at that game? I was at that game. The oh. Game. The, the three amigos. Yeah. The bro amigos. Three bro amigos. Yeah. That's us. That's us. Yeah, no. dude. Hey, Rick, man. Shout out, dude. Hey. Holding it down in Philly. Oh. Hey, let's go. let's That's get it, Rick. Awesome. Hey, you guys got – well, he's not a Philly fan, but they got uh, <laughs> Kellen Moore out there again. So, Yo, yeah. Philly. Oklahoma, what up? Big hey. John, let's go. What we, up, got, we, got, we got a lot of people around the States. That's right. awesome. Oh, right. Pablo. Cobble, baby. Cobble, Pablo. Cablo. <laughs> I, 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 I literally say <laughs> Cablo. <laughs> Cablo. Like, oh, Pablo my gosh, Pablo, dude. We got to go take a trip to yeah. Cabo with Man. Pablo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. No, but uh, but again, guys, you know, a lot to discuss, man. We got a lot of news, folks. Um, and again, our old man, we're we're, we're going to go on a hike. Uh, we're going to have a good time. You know, again, we are brothers, guys. We've said this a hundred times. We are brothers. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're here with the family. They making a bunch of noise over there. So yeah, hopefully, yeah. you know, they, you know, <laughs> yeah. whatever. We'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. uh, we're going to do a hike. Maybe we'll take a photo. The, you know, the whole fam today. Maybe yeah. we'll put it on the you know YouTube's and all the above. So uh, yeah, good. Rob and I watched that a little bit of that Keenan Allen press conference, just staying yeah. on topic with uh, George Tees and you know making a pretty bold move. I mean, really, once again, Andrew and I we did a, a live yesterday talking about the Keenan Allen move, and you know it's like more or less take the actual bounty now. Yep. yep. Versus, hey, we're probably going to yep. let him go after the season, anyways. Yep. yep. So saves cap gives us an extra draft pick right, right now. Yep. And it's about moving forward at this point. Yep. And, you know, new regime comes in. He doesn't have the protection of Tom Telesco because Tom Telesco was his, like, Keenan Allen was his dude. Like, yeah. he was a part of his first draft. And it, it really sucks, obviously, to be able to see that happen. But, yeah, the Keenan Allen press conference, he kind of looked a little bit, like, sad, to be honest. Yeah. And, and I can imagine yeah. he ha- has to feel sad. And, and yeah, once again, he did say, I did not want to take a pay cut. And, yep. Hey, if you're not bought in, see you, bud. I think that's the new regime. Yeah. Well, and hey, just on topic, right? That's my very, my very next know. slide. What do you know? Yeah, but but look, dude, uh, he he said legitimately, I came off my best season ever. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I get that. I get, I get, that. I get that. I get, I get that. But and he also knew, and you brought well, actually you, you brought up about why Keenan Allen might not want to be here. So give give your thoughts. Yeah. I don't want to take that away from you. I mean, I was I was I, we were talking about it a little last night. Is that I mean. We all know what Greg Roman's offense is. It's a run first offense. Yep. Yep. You know, they their scheme is built highly around running. And so we were thinking it's like, okay, well, we're gonna take away a lot more pass attempts, a lot more opportunities for Keenan and Mike Williams both to get yep. the ball. 
So they're probably going to have to block a lot more. And you know, he's <laughs> yeah. 31 years old. He don't like to block. He, he's, he's not. Yeah. He's not much of a blocker. You know, like yeah. 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 And like, and we've seen a lot of even the tight ends in our scheme that just don't really commit to the block. Yeah. And that's yep. a very important aspect of a run game. Yeah. Yep. Well, and, and and yeah, again, the offense is going to completely change. And think of it this way, too, guys. Right. Tight ends. You're going to probably have two tight ends on, on the field at all times yep. and probably just two wide receivers. So think of it that way. Right. Bottom line, it, the, the ball is going to be distributed. We're playing power football. It's going to be running game. We're going to slam it down your throat. And that's exactly how it's going to well, go. That's where, so that's where I brought up the whole idea of like, what if you ended up trading for Brandon Ayuk? I mean, he comes oh, from a dude, very, very strong bro. system of blocking yeah, the right. wide receivers block. And he's a phenomenal wide receiver. Yeah. Now, once again, you do go back to the whole thing. If you go out and get neighbors, Malik neighbors has been known as he's the Jamar Chase and the Justin Jefferson play oh, in one. Like those are two solid, solid wide receivers. So yeah. if you get that in pick five, dude, people are going to forget pretty quickly about yeah, Keenan Allen. Exactly, man. and it breaks my heart to say it, that it sucks, and it, yeah. it was hard for me even saying that. Like, yeah, it I know. made me feel a little sad saying that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and again, but to your point, we took the pick now rather than a pick later because yeah, yeah, the team isn't that far off guys. And by the way, the offensive line isn't as bad as a lot of people think. Now yep. we had no identity in running the football yep. and the zone read scheme that we had clearly didn't work out. Right. But we're going to run power and both the two tight ends we picked up. They are very good. They're, they're 260. Yeah. The, yeah. The two, they're, they're freaking, they're, they're about the same size as, uh, 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 Joey Bosa. Joey yeah, Bosa is what? Yeah, 280. Yeah. 280? Yeah. So he's 20 pounds lighter than Joey Bosa. So my, my big dude, yeah, they're they're gonna move bodies, right? So so don't don't again. It's the whole point, right? Like the offense is gonna look different, but it's gonna save Justin Herbert from getting beat up yep. in the pocket. Uh, some you know you might see some quarterback runs, but it'd be very interesting to see yep. what happens with yep. this too. So absolutely okay. So Aether, so James, you want you want second wanna... thing is what was the first is, thing? Oh, what was the first thing? Oh, oh, I didn't catch it. All right. Oh, I don't even know where it's at. That's fine. Just go <laughs> with right, this. Go. Don't go for a negative 50 million plus 47 million in less than two months. That's a plus $97 million turnaround, not by mistake and sacrifice. And, yep. and that's the whole thing. I mean, I remember years ago, and I want to even say this year, the yeah. Saints were in a cap hill situation and they flipped it from okay. like an $80 million to a positive. Yep. Mm -hmm. There, There is the idea of that cap space is completely a myth. Yeah. But at the same side, it is real like what we yep. had. Like yep. it was a real situation. You were stuck with four <laughs> players yeah. and you had to make a move essentially. Yeah. You know, four players cannot make a team. Well, yeah, yeah it was ridiculous. It was, yeah. it was just super stupid. I mean, you look at it and you're like, bro, like, like now again, I understand why Keenan wouldn't want to take a pay cut. I get that right off his best season ever, but come on, dude. Like, yep. like you don't need to be this way. Right. right, right. And so, so it's a little, a little frustrating. I'm curious to see what's going to happen, but um, yeah, again, Bolto, no matter Bolto, what, no matter what, let's go. And good to see the Bull Thanks. Babes here again. Bull it's babes. been a minute. You, a minute. you, you guys playing hard minute. to get? That ain't cool. That ain't cool. Yeah, that's right. What's up? <laughs> well, and, and again, there's some other vets we're talking about as well too. So yeah. there's a lot going to happen, you know. And he wanted his money. I get it, you know. And and it it sucks. It sucks. Um, and guys, but 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 to your point, James, what you just said is clearly this coaching staff is ready to compete now. Yep they're not here to just be okay. They want to build a Super Bowl team now. No. And that's it. And and I, you know, and it is what it is, right? So Get to the destination quicker. And that's yeah. bottom line it. Like the destination is be a very very competitive team, yep. bottom line. Yep. And that's the destination. Maybe that destination gets us to a Super Bowl year 1. Yep. How ironic would that be cuz last time Jim Harbaugh was in the Super Bowl was in New Orleans which is being played in New Orleans this yep. year. So. And the Ooh. lights went out into that game, but now he's here with the Chargers <laughs> to charge them lights. Let's go. Ooh, what's oh, up? Yeah, hey, let's go. We got the storyline coming here. Yeah, you, you, get you, that you, clip of this and remember this you know, for when we go to the Super Bowl winning. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right, so Bull Babes, uh, we know uh, we're here late. How you guys feel about these trades? Yeah, you know, Alohi, I'm excited. Alohi, and by the way, great, by the way, way, Aether, Aether called Alohi too. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is funny to think about that if, if people want Ortiz fired, but I don't think that they're really that way. But I know they're, no. they're getting their heartstrings pulled quite a bit, right? Yeah, now. for yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, we all we called it last year, like, but we knew that this year yeah. the offseason was going to be a hard one because yeah. you know, because we knew that all four of those players, someone's going to get cut, you yep. know, like, and we 100%. didn't know, 
we don't know who exactly. I mean, yep. we, we kind of we all expected Mike Williams, and we thought Joey Bosa yep. probably. Right. Uh, you know, Keenan Allen being gone that that one hurt a lot of people. Yep. So, but uh, hey, it is what it is. You yep. know, like so we we knew that the pain was coming. We just didn't didn't yeah. we didn't call it on the exact form. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that's an interesting one about he missed R1. And I've seen people talking about Herbert. Why doesn't he take a pay cut? Well, he's actually like $19 million. <laughs> 19 million bucks. Right yeah. now, he's so. getting paid as much as Derwin James. Yeah. So, so he's you know fine. What, though? This is this is his first time getting a really big payday. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think he's going to get the pay cut just yet. Yeah. yeah. He's at 19 million. Yeah, yeah. And I think the big one is next year. Yeah. Next year. Next year. Yeah. Next year. But and the and there's a ton time, of money. Like, there's a ton of money next year. It's like 80 million. Yeah. Like but at the same side, guarantee what you're going to do with. If you look at Mahomes, he just restructured his contract right. again. Yeah. Oh they're going to keep gosh. doing that and just putting money <laughs> right. into the guarantee based money. Pablo, I literally just read Kyle. That was a hard one. And I said, oh, man, that's what she said. And then you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, well, we, we're, we're brothers from another mother. That's right, Pablo. Primo Pablo. Pablo, man. Primo Pablo, yeah, and both babes, yeah. I don't, I don't know why you guys are, you know, playing hard to get. It's kind of lame, dude. Right. Not, it's kind of lame. But yeah, nope. we're here for our dad's yeah. birthday. I mean, I live here, so it's yep. yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be going back to Utah, but yeah, but most likely Monday. Final week at week for uh, Andrew yep. being out here too. So, That's so right. I'll, I'll be yeah. back. I'll be back with Grogu in uh, Utah. So That's right. Um, yeah. yeah. So, but again, we re-signed Stick. So I know people. I saw a lot of people kind of hate on this thought. I'm like. Look, here's the reality. I think, and I'll just give my thoughts on stick. Our offense last year was 100% built around Justin Herbert. Yeah. Now, you do not need to be spectacular to be a quarterback in the offensive system. No. You need to be good. You need to place the ball where it needs to go, but the play action pass will be there. It'll be a lot easier for anyone to step in and be successful. Exactly. So that's kind of my point. Well, the run game is going to be huge. Yeah. And that's the thing. Whoever's going to be back there is going to be able to be a very serviceable you know, quarterback in some level. I will defend a little bit of Easton stick. I think he did fine. Yep. He got us into positions of where we could potentially get touchdowns. I think during that streak, when he was <laughs> the quarter or the quarterback during that time, I want to say Dicker, the kicker had a was 11 for 12 of field goals at the yeah. time. Yeah. And that's in four yeah. games. Yeah. So what I'm saying that is, is that we're in scoring position to be able to, you know, for Easton stick, he did a good job getting the ball down the field. Now we just couldn't convert it touchdowns. I think he only got like one or two touchdowns that entire time yeah. or whatnot. Yeah. But I'm good with stick being there. Like I, I'm glad that they brought him back. And to be honest, it might've been one of those Herbert signings. Uh, too. That's what I was just going to yeah. say. Where yeah. Herbert just won consistency yeah. there. At least. He's you know, a smart guy. Like Shane day. Yeah. Yep. Right. Brought him in. Cause Herbert liked him. Yep. yep. Yeah. And um, yeah. So, uh, and by the way, this is, you are really on the same page as us because exactly. I think my yeah. next slide Boom. is, Boom. you are lit. No. That's literally no. my next slide. So stay hydrated. Remember every oh. time during the, during hey, the, uh, did, did this fool, like, did he like hack our phone? Yeah. Did you, 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 you figure out, <laughs> did you, did you figure out the bolt bro? <laughs> yeah. yeah is, but, is that, is that actually, uh, uh Ortiz on the, yeah, yeah. He's listening to, he's listening to bolt bros. quite tell from that little profile picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and and the thing, so I I do think that uh, Paraman would be a good veteran signing. Yeah. Now we all we all know Henley's going to be playing a lot. We still have Nick Neiman, and then we picked up Die. So if we sign Paraman, that would give us four linebackers. And then this is not a very good linebacker draft yep. from what I'm seeing. So mm. you know, and the one thing I, I watched a little bit of, and I was thinking of the same thing. Oh no, he's too too old. You know, he's 31 ish. Now you kind of hope. Probably if he signs, it'll probably be a one-year type thing. Sure. He might just, you know, maybe it'll be a year-to-year type thing with him. But I was watching some of the highlights of him last year. And the thing about him, and it fits extremely well for Jesse Minter's defense, he's like a Swiss Army knife to the the O-line. He does a great job of pursuing the guy with the ball, the running game. He is going to be a great guy. I hated that we let him go, and I hated that he went to the Raiders. And it's just he was such a solid guy all around, and I I think he's a great great pickup if we officially pick him up. Yeah, it would be great. Like, and it's a vet once again. It's a vet. It's a vet, and like, yeah, I I really liked him. I didn't think he was a bad player at all. Like, and the only knock against him now is that he was played for the Raiders for a couple years. That's about it. So that's that's (laughs) That's like you know, yeah. But that, like I've said, man, I'll say it again. Like a, he was a Tom Telesco double agent, you know, like yeah. you know, Tom Tom Telesco yeah. double yeah, agent. He, he, yeah. So, <laughs> and the so, one thing too about Perriman, though, uh, I can't remember which. I think it was that one of those shows on ESPN that we were talking about yesterday. 
talking about our, our wide receivers that we need a vet guy, you know, in that position, you need to have that vet for the wide receiver room in some level. You can't have a bunch of young guys there. Sure. Yep. Now yep. Joshua Palmer would essentially be the vet guy in, at this moment, but same thing with the linebackers. I've always looked at Jesse Minter and watching Michigan, the linebackers are a big part of filling those gaps too at the, at the line and doing a great job of stopping the run. And I mm -hmm. always felt like if we're going to go with our guys, there are a lot of younger guys. We need a vet guy out there. And yeah. this is one of those guys that if we get Denzel Perriman, that fits that mold perfectly. Sure. And I'm positive we still will draft a linebacker or two. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Bobes have a question. Yeah, we're there for our dad. It's his birthday. Uh, really tomorrow. Yeah. Um, uh, what trade hurts you guys the most? I would say the Keenan Allen one for course, sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean this is Keenan Allen, dude. That's probably yeah. the unanimous. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. You know, and and eighth or shoot it out for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, guys, look again. The nice thing about Perriman, too, he's been in the league a long time. Yep. He did very good with the Texans. Yep. And he's a veteran guy that could probably help, obviously, Henley and these other guys prepare. Very clearly, Brandon Staley did not care about um, anybody else but his boys yeah, on the yeah. team last year. Like, if yeah. you if you were not Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, or whoever, you were, you were Naval Lance, right? And that's just not cool, dude. Yep. Um, oh, how's my Saturday? Go, go for a hike with the family. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been good. so we're excited about that. I think, I think, but again, pyramid's a great signing. Right. And so, um, yeah, but you know, again, he wanted to, I don't know. I, I still am a little confused. I, apparently I think they tried to shop him is what I also kind of hear yeah. about K nine. Uh, there was other teams that were asking about him now, just so you know, Mike Williams is it, it, uh, going to go to the jets on Monday and then yeah. the Panthers on oh. Tuesday. I don't think he leaves the Jets. I think yeah. I think he's going to stay there. And there was rumors that the Jets were trying to trade for him too. Correct. So that makes a lot of sense. The Jets and also Keenan Allen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So right. so they're, they they've been wanting you know these guys. So yeah. And it's Aaron Rodgers is probably saying Aaron Rodgers is running that team. Yep. How, how many superstars uh, Patrick Mahomes had? Yeah, pretty not many. Zero. Yeah. Pretty I mean, much nothing. Got Hollywood Brown now, and they've dumped right. everybody else pretty much. Right. So. Right. And they'll, they'll draft a, a wide receiver yeah. first in this. Yeah, I mean, this she Rice is a guy that I think you want to keep a really big eye yeah, on I mean, next year. Yeah, I mean, well, he's a rookie, so yeah. like you know, they'll they'll keep him going for a long yeah. time. So yeah. that'll, that'll be nice. Yeah, and again, guys, I mean, it's it's not a, for us. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very different regime, guys. We just remember that it's defense is going to be important. Again, guys, the defense is going to be stout. Yep. Mac and Bo. By the way. I have to say something. And I don't have a slide for Bosa, but Bosa took less money. He actually did take less yeah, money. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that it was more of an incentive-based contract. Mm, yep. And so I was like, He's "Wow." Like on himself. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So, so good for him. Kudos for him, man. Yep. Um, no, we're at the uh, we're at the household. We're at the Bolt Bros household right now. Yep. So we're about to go out and do a hike with the fam. So we'll we'll, we'll shoot shoot out a, a, a photo. Uh, and again, uh, again, new regime in town. So. This is kind of interesting, guys. We can have a general discussion about this. Um, you know, I'll hide this real quick. Uh, we'll go to your comments here in a second. But I thought it was really interesting. It says it, it's intriguing. Uh, we trade away Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, restructured Khalil Mack and, and Bosa. What do you do with the overall pick? Okay, what do you guys think now? Do we trade back now or do we stick and pick? Now, um, pass catching is an obvious need. Uh, they have their choice between neighbors, Adunze, and tight end Brock Bowers. Yep. Uh, what do you guys think they do now? So let's have that discussion because I yeah. think it's pretty interesting. Right. Um, because I mean, obviously, we need a, like a star running back now. Yeah. But I mean, who, we still got Spiller. We still got Dotson. Um, who, who, we don't. Uh, we still got Kelly. Technically, <laughs> he's still available. Yeah, he's available. He's available. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you know, like I mean, tight ends. We still got Chicken Parham. Chick, chicken power ham chicken, chicken, par, chicken, chicken par. Par. and we have uh, uh stone smart stone smart yeah yep. so guys what, what what do you think we do with the with the pick so wide receivers maybe we still got palmer guyton yeah. still hasn't signed anywhere yep qj darius davis like so i don't know like you know I mean, it's it's who's gonna help us the best right now i mean you look at neighbors and what he could do and the, the comparisons of what he is the lsu path of wide receivers has been elite Mm -hmm. of recent like they have been phenomenal as wide receivers so yeah. it, it's got to be malik neighbors even though you kind of say hey look i know we're going to be playing power we don't have i mean mahomes doesn't have the star players and everything too right but if you have the chance to get like an elite elite guy yep. that, like that you assume is going to be the next biggest thing yeah 
you kind of need that. Yeah. Like, you yeah. kind of need that. Like, and that's sort of a hard, hard thing. I know trade back sounds great. I'd love to be able to have 10 total picks. Yeah, but nine's a lot. But nine's a lot. <laughs> Nine, nine's a lot. a lot of picks. Yeah, and yeah, so I, I'm seeing you guys say, okay, pretty much Malik neighbors, can't trade back. Yeah, I mean, if, if we could, dude, MJ, Marvin Harrison Jr., that guy's crazy. Yeah. Um, But but here's the thing, dude, like Adunze is good. Malik neighbors is, I actually like probably Malik the best, I would say. Uh, but you're right. Adunze is very good as well. So yeah. my thought is now with all these moves, you probably stick and pick, and then you probably pick up another tight end later on yeah. or a center or a tackle. One of the two. Yeah. Um, yeah, but mean, it's just kind of my take. I mean, yeah, for me, like, I'm not I mean, seeing any trade backs at this point. I, uh, I, I've been saying a lot of like offensive line for at five or whatever, but now that, you know, we've, don't have Williams or Keenan Allen, we can't go offensive line yep. at five. Oh, yeah. Like yep. it's, oh, it's yeah. not, it's that would help a lot for our situation, but it's like at this point we need some more weapons fast. Yeah. I always thought it would be really good to trade back with the, uh, the Vikings, give them the fifth and then we get their 11th and then the trade pick that they just traded from the Texans. Mm. We get those two number ones. Mm -hmm. You could basically go out there and get the uh, right tackle from uh, Oregon state really solidify that right side of the line. And that guy's absolute nasty. Yeah. Um, I mean, that would be phenomenal, but yeah. you know, it's kind of hard to just say we have a big hole kind of in that wide receiving side of things. Right. Yeah. And, and that's, what's tough. Now I did see, uh, you know, Aether talking about trading the fifth. Um, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Aether, Aether just wants Justin Jefferson. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. He's good. Yep. I, I did see a, an interesting discussion where the Vikings are going to trade it to the Patriots and take, what are they, the third spot? Yeah. yeah. So they take the third spot, and then I don't know how it plays out after that. We'll see. Yeah. Like, it's going to be pretty interesting. I mean, I, I don't know. I I think at this point, you need a weapon. Look, you traded away Allen and Williams. You need Herbert happy. Yep. I'm going to get you a weapon. Yep. And that's it, right? And again, uh, I think you'd be okay. Yeah, and even to say this too, like, and I, I'm in Andrew and I's uh, live that we did yesterday. I chatted a little bit about just some free agents that are out there. Like, I mean, some people say they hate Hunter Renfro, but I mean, that guy is a pretty solid route runner, and he hasn't been Hunter Renfro of 2021. No, but at the same side, you could probably get him for cheap, and he could be one of those guys that could just be a clutch kind of guy for third down situations. Because that's yep. my biggest concern now is like Keenan Allen was that third down like machine for us kind of like what antonio gates was for us we I need just, we need a guy that could run that route be open at the right yeah. time i just uh want to give you a little bit of banter about the route running though because there's been multiple times <laughs> i've seen him out there and he runs straight into Devonte adams yeah so i don't, I don't know if that's Devonte being off like yeah. where he needs to go or Do not understand his routes What's but yeah i mean Devonte is a, is a whole three steps ahead of yep. hunter renfro as far as an elite level player oh, goes absolutely. So it's like I don't know. Is I don't know. I don't know if I want to believe that Hunter Renfro is a great yeah. route runner. <laughs> yeah. If he's not, if he's running over his own players, yeah, that's know? not good. Yeah, that's not good. So, yeah, but you know, it's interesting. So I know you guys are talking about vets too. So again, remember we do have Josh Palmer on the squad. Right. And we got Alex Erickson now. Again, Alex Erickson's a little older. You know, sure. I don't know if he's going to stick around. We'll see what happens. Um, but again, you're right. Jay Herbo was brutalized last season. Yep. And, and again, it was it was the five linemen. It was zone read. It was just sort of like, okay, we, there was no identity. This team is going to run power. We're, we're going to run two tight end sets, two wide receivers, and a running back. And it's just going to be – we're just going to force the ball yep. down your throat. And you don't need a lot of wide receivers. You need a few wide receivers. Yep. Yep. Um, you know. And even to say here, it's like SR Powers right here. He's talking about Lad McConkey in the second – Yep. You know, we talked about Xavier Leggett. Too. Xavier Leggett, that guy That's, looks that good, guy, dude. You know, his 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 speed, his whole combine, everything was phenomenal. Um, great size, too. So, you know, but it would be a very young wide receiving core all around. So, it, I'm just, man, we're like almost a month away from the draft, and it's going to be exciting to see what happens. But it also gives us an idea of what we're going to be going after in the draft. I do think that we are – Prior to all these moves, I would have yeah. thought we would trade back. Now I'm in, in, the, in the camp of, now nah, let's just get our wide receiver. And let's get a wide receiver for Justin Herbert yep. to build a career with, right? Yeah. Yep. You know, the 
the Herbert to neighbors, the Herbert to, you know, Marvin Harrison Jr., you know. What's, yeah. what's the equivalent of Rivers to Gates for, for Justin Herbert, you know? Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Because, dude, he's had yeah. – it's been a revolving door. And and mm -hmm. what is this, his fifth? Fifth year. Fifth now year. it's fifth year. Well, yeah. No, but, but – no, fourth offensive coordinator, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is crazy. It's yeah. like, come on, dude. And, and guys, this is a complete rebuild. Well, I wouldn't say rebuild, but the offense is completely different. Yep. Again, yep. power. And I'll tell you, if you if if he's there, you got to take. You got to take Marston Harrison. Yeah. It, I would I would be fine with Harrison or Neighbors, one of the two, either one. Yeah, and to Aether's point, talking about just kind of like the the worth of a fifth pick and the the points that yeah. got to get balanced out. So basically, mm -hmm. you, another team needs to. I don't even understand how the whole points thing works, but basically, it's a worth or a, a right. value basically for the, that pick. It's basically they got to match that the top, value. Basically. The top. No, the first pick overall is worth like 3,000 points. Yep, yep. And then like the, <laughs> yeah, the last right. one. It's like a video game. Dude. Yeah. I don't the, so cool. the last one is like maybe like 150 or something. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, you yeah. Know? So like if you kind of like you do that. So I was actually, after I did my, my yeah, trade value things, good. I was thinking about, you know, going more into that, like into yeah. all that stuff, basically basing all the data that I get from Madden to really figure out what all the hard data is. Yep. Yeah. So, and, uh, yeah, obviously, I thought about it after I did those two videos, though. Yeah. So. Yeah, and we do not. We probably do need another defensive lineman as well, too. Yeah, sure. Um, it, it, I mean, it'll be interesting too. And by the way, Kate Stover's a stud. I think okay. he's great. Good. Uh, there's some nice tight ends in this in this draft, so you know. But but you can get them later on too. Yeah. And by the way, and this is partially why, Jay Jetta, dude. It's too. Expensive. It's crazy, dude. Like I, I get it. He's great, but. Yeah. What team can afford him? The freaking Panthers, yeah, right. but they suck, dude. They're yeah. so like, what's the point of being there? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that's a quarterback salary situation. Yeah. That's that's not that's like, crazy. There's no no wide receiver that's going to get that anytime soon. Yeah. I think right now, yeah. maybe ten years from from now with with inflation, you know. But that's about it. Well, and remember, guys, this is a departure from what we've done in the past, right? Big time. Because you got to remember, everything was all on Justin Herbert's shoulders. Okay, I want. You got to be perfect. You got to throw the ball correctly. But then remember, the the defense didn't stop anybody. We were w w one of the worst defenses in the league, and secondarily, uh, we couldn't run the ball. Right. right yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's just it's crazy. It, it's just, it's crazy. So now it's okay. 30, 30 runs in in a game, and then thirty passes. You know, more of a 50-50 blend, which makes sense. Yep. Um, and again. You don't need a huge wide receiver, but you need people that can at least catch the ball and stretch the field. Yeah, right. get open. I mean, and, and remember, think of it this way too. To your point, if you got two tight ends and two wide receivers, guess what? They're going to stack the box because yeah. they're going to expect you to run the ball. So that'll only play action open downfield, and it'll give you a lot more, uh, you know, space to operate on that downfield pass. So let's go, let's go, baby. Yeah, who's got it better than us? Yeah, <laughs> nobody. So, um, okay. So here we go. This is kind of interesting. Yeah, and this list is in, is kind of wild to look at. Yeah. Like, Thinking about like top choices remaining in free agency here. Yep. The big thing that I always look on it is like, <laughs> man, really cornerbacks are pretty thin all around. And Xavier Howard's one of those guys I was thinking about. Yeah. But it sounds like he was kind of losing a little bit of a step last year. Um, I mean, the guy was paid quite a bit and everything too. I mean, wide receivers wise, you kind of think like Michael Thomas, you know, I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit of a tough kind of list to look at. Odell Beckham Jr. Kind of like a little bit unsure about too. Right. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a tough list to look at a lot of those free agents now. I mean, we're probably in a more like a tier two, possibly getting into like a tier three type situation. Tyler Boyd yeah. was probably one of the wide receivers I would be interested in. Um, I think he's a very good wide receiver from the Bengals. I'm kind of shocked that he's not signed yet. Um, he could be a very good veteran, which actually in one of those videos we looked at yesterday, they brought up Tyler Boyd as kind of being a veteran guy with mm -hmm. the Bengals when they brought in um, right. uh, Jamar Chase. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of a kind of a tough list all around looking right now for free agency. So yeah, and I think we do pick up a running back as well. By the way, J.K. Dobbins is still out there. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, Do you can get Dobbins cheap. I saw very cheap, three million a year yeah. maybe. Like this, yeah. we got thirty million dollars to spend saw, right now. But I saw a little thing about him though that he does have some like health concerns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Achilles. Knee, oh yeah. Achilles. Yeah, yeah but so it's like. Mm. Yeah, but but again, and again, Mike Williams, he could still come back, guys. I mean, don't think that he can't. Nah. 
I he ain't coming back. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, this is the only time that like, yo, honestly, if you guys seen this video, disrespect, the, disrespect. the, the speak disrespect finally had a good video about the Chargers because Amanio Altro was not on it, but yeah. but they were saying it's like and I, I agree with it that you know the disrespect of you know getting released and stuff like that, you know, like there's no yeah. there's no way. It's like I mean, if you get fired from a job. Like any job, even if it was like McDonald's, and they they say, "Oh yeah, we want you back like next yeah. week, whatever." Like, like nah, yeah, dude, I don't go, know about that. Go pound sand. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Job yeah, yeah. Else. And yeah, Mike Lee Torres. That's the thing. We do need corners really, really bad. Now we got Michael Davis still hanging out there too. Yep. If you want to bring him back, you could probably bring him back cheaply too. So um, I don't Ooh. know, but it's right. It's very, very big about trying to get physical based corners mm. guys that could play press yeah I mean, that's a big thing and i think michael davis played better when brandon staley was that's gone true. and played better oh yeah press. oh yeah 100 yeah, yeah. oh he definitely did yeah he, he played more physical well obviously the, the stupid matter pattern match zone thing yeah, whatever it's, so it's, it's no. way, way too confusing yeah. you know like it's it's too reactionary like of, about what you want to do so yeah yeah and again the you're right this is cheap solid depth and that's what you need yep. you, you do not need here's the thing we had four guys that was almost half of our salary cap yeah, yeah. it's crazy it's just yeah, stupid crazy. now i can understand it if it's justin herbert you know and then maybe a couple edge rushers maybe a tackle but it made no sense it, they were yeah. getting paid way too much money and brandon was talking about sneed and, and there's apparently there's a rumor that he's getting traded to the i was reading about it oh didn't he colts i think didn't he resign I, yeah, he, so he got a franchise tag, but then it's oh, like that's right. a trade that could be happening to uh -huh. send him to the Colts. Now, it's just talk on the internet right now, and it sounds like it's something that really developed this morning. So, yeah. well, there's the, they also brought up in the chat too. Um, I saw like Slater. Like, do we make a move on Slater yeah, now? That's that's such a crazy thought, yeah, dude. Because I mean, obviously, I would. We can uh, we can do an option contract on him, but that's that would be like a twenty million something like that, just right yeah. gone. Yeah. instantly so but I, that'd be for next year because he's on his fourth year now. yeah he's on his fourth year yes yeah, so yeah, yeah. next year yeah. yeah and again that's exactly right we never had depth and again yeah. guys you don't have to have the best depth you just need people to throw yeah. out there that exactly. are just not going to it's in madden right you got a you got yeah. a nine okay your backup is like an eight yeah. or or a seven mm -hmm. you know yeah uh you just don't want to go right nine to a five it's right. like, oh God, you know, we're yeah. in real trouble. And that's kind of what it was. I mean, I looked at the the texture of our contracts that we had. It was four, obviously the four contracts at the elite tier. Yeah. Two at the high tier, and then a basically a really massive fall off in like thirty eight players in the yeah. rookie deals. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's like that's yeah. that's not great depth. Like, yep. I mean, not yeah, these they're great players. Don't get me wrong, but they're all you know inexperienced as much and like you know they don't they yeah don't have like the the best um ability to play at this very high level that everyone's playing at now in the nfl yeah this is kind of interesting oh, dark city this yeah. is a bear, i'm a bears fan we don't want Allen. i mean he's too old injury oh prone. wow congrats bolts for the trade finesse i mean we've had a fair amount of trades with you guys yeah yeah um keenan allen mike we, we or, took, uh, we took Khalil Mack Khalil for you guys Mack, yeah, yeah. Oh. we also did trade another receiver way back in the days to you right, guys right. too but yeah it, it's kind of an interesting thing to see but i mean look man Keenan Allen has recently been pretty, yep. pretty solid. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had one of his best careers last year. Yeah. Yep. But the year before that, he was injured. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and he could have come back at the end of the season, but what was the point? Yeah. You know? Exactly. Um, yeah, no, but but hey, you're getting a you're getting a route runner mm -hmm. yep. that his footwork is second to none, dude. Oh, yeah. Like it's crazy. And you got DJ Moore on the other side. Yeah, you got DJ Moore. Moore. Yeah, you got yeah. DJ Moore. So Damn. actually let, let, let me ask uh let me ask Dark City. Dark City, how about this? Are are you gonna keep are, are you gonna go with Caleb Williams? What do you feel about Caleb Williams? He seems like a turd to me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, so so Dark City, what do they do with first pick? Do they go with Caleb or stick? I mean, I don't know. What are your thoughts? I would probably go with Drake May personally. Yeah. Drake May seems like a, a better guy. Uh, but here I'm, I'm just kind of curious what yeah, your thoughts are. With uh, Natron means about Drake May. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah personally, he, I think he said he's a dog. Daniels is a better better uh quarterback. He's just thin. Yeah, that's his, his issue. If he could yeah. just get a little bit more weight on his body. Yeah, he's 190, dude. Yeah. Just that's... Go, go let him go eat some bacon. Yeah. You know? It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put a sandwich down his throat. Yeah, dude. yeah, just, yeah. You know, just shove it in there. Yeah. Dude, and yeah. that's the craziest stat, too, there. You know, Brandon, Bears have never had a 4,000 yard passer in the history of the franchise, which doesn't make any sense to me. And like, then, that but then is a lot of was decades. able to do it. 
No, Fields was not. No, no, no. He, he can't do it. Ever, but, no. no, it said it said something about like for the first time, year ever. No, no, they they never never had a quarterback throw for four thousand yards. Yeah. Oh wow. Never. never. Oh gosh. Okay. That's yeah, even to say to, with Jay trying, Cutler. Try, yeah. Instead of different, trying to help them. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yep. Yeah. And again, they run the ball yeah. now. But so again. Going back to Justin Herbert, just out of curiosity, what is everyone thinking? Is he going to have a? I want to. I want to hear your thoughts. Is he going to have an up year or a down year from what he did has done in the past? Right? Do, does he throw for over five thousand yards, or is he under five thousand yards? I want to hear your thoughts on that. Both I of you guys. He'll be under five thousand, um, but yeah. at the same side, he'll be way more efficient. Mm-hmm. So the the passes will be probably instead of us, and I think we were at like thirty eight <laughs> passes a game. Yeah, I'm expecting us to be at like twenty seven to twenty eight passes a yeah. game. Wow, really? It's going to be low. a decrease. Yeah, I mean, I, I can definitely see it being a decrease, but not that low. I would yeah. say, yeah, I would... but that's the same number that the Niners had. So I'm oh, kind of okay. comparing like, oh, yeah, okay, offenses basically. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Okay, run heavy. You know, uh, obviously you can't say. Brock Purdy is Justin Herbert, but he was a guy playing at an MVP level right. with less passes. So yeah, be yeah. efficient. Well, and, and again, the yards per attempt will be a lot deeper. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, deeper. Uh, <laughs> bigger. <laughs> bigger. Is that the right word? I'm yeah. Deeper, bigger. Hey, you you know get what? what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, well, I guess you're going to be throwing it deeper. So, well, yes, yes, yeah, yes. That, right, correct. A, yeah. Yeah. Um, but again, yeah, the whole the whole thing, Gates is such a bummer, man. Um yeah, well, we could talk more about Gates as well, too. I mean, he yeah. he, he kind of ticked people off at that event that we were at. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. There, there's there's a little little bit of a tinge on Antonio Gates. Yeah. I will say. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, uh, but but again, it's it's because fr- he's incredible. Um, yeah. And by the way, you know, uh, look, I I actually like Fields. I think Fields needs the right type of offensive mind. Um, clearly, they're just look. A lot, large part of it's coaching. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what this coaching staff can do for the Chargers. I mean, we are we're completely going, completely opposite of what we've done in the past. Yep. So, you know, a lot to be said. Um, yep. Yeah. And I think Moda. I think he's actually going to win his first, second, and third this Ooh, year. Wow, we're gonna we're gonna oh, Super yeah. Bowl already. Woo, yeah. Super Bowl, baby. That's right. Go. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be Chargers yeah. Bears in the Super Bowl. What do you I think? I don't know. If we should talk too much about Gates and what happened there, but either which way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's. It is what it is. I yep. mean, yeah. There's a lot of issues with that whole Hall of Fame thing. And yep. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. It got it got a little it got a little stuff. Yeah, it got a little yeah, annoying. It got a little sticky. Mm-hmm. Bosa yeah, Raisin Brand. Yep. You know, I'm curious uh to see what he does this season. I I'll say this about Bosa. I actually think if he could really just stick to what Ben Hurst I've been going to this gym here in Arizona that is just awesome. It's been amazing. Yeah. If Bosa could really just go and really commit to what Ben Herbert's going to have him do on his strength and conditioning, I think he'll be fine. Yeah. You know, and, and but he clearly didn't do it when he went to Florida with his brothers, yep. you know, you know, by the way, funny story about that. I, I I can't say who told me this, but it was an NFL player playing golf with a buddy of mine. My buddy said that, uh, wait, what's, what's both his brother's name? Nick. Nick. Yeah. I, it was Nick. Okay. They say he's a jerk. He sucks. <laughs> and, but they said that Joey Bosa is really awesome yeah. and they really, everyone likes him. And they they think he's just a really cool dude. So, um, and again, guys, remember, th- this is a huge departure from what we've done in the past. We're going to be fine. Um, and you're right. Trust the process. And trust again, the process. it's less on Herbert now. you got yeah. the rest of the team that could do their job. Well, the right. bigger part of it is, is it hasn't worked before, right? <laughs> yeah. And so <laughs> yeah, what, right. what hasn't worked, you know, <laughs> yeah. go ahead and move forward. It seemed almost like in the past is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Now right. it's like, it has been broke. Let's fix it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, like that's, that's the biggest thing. So we've had all these weapons on the team. We haven't been able to do anything with them. So let's, we got to make some changes, yep. you know? So, well, yeah. And yeah. what's the definition but of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again. Exactly. Expecting it, a different it's result. not necessarily that it has been broke, but it's that we chargers are broke because of these players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, hey. Yeah. Hey, my, my heart's been broke, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we got the, we got the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the tissues, the tissues. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, you know, again, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Good question, Aether. Guys in the chat as well. What do you think we rank? Uh, I say we're top five next year. Mm. That's wow. a, that's my bold prediction, Aether. Yeah. Now, and, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, you could completely disagree with me, but I think we've had the talent for yeah. a long time. If mm-hmm. Mac, Tooley, and Bosa can stay healthy. Yeah. And we need a cornerback. We need yep. somebody to step up and be that guy. 
but we got two solid safeties. Yeah. And our linebacker core is a little suspect, but I think top five. Yeah. Think of it this way. After we got rid of Brandon Staley, we were technically ranked top five yep. defensively uh, with a lot of people out. I think, too. Yeah. yeah. We were under four, 17 points a game. So what are your thoughts? Ross has been broke for years. Players are always broken. Yeah, that's true. A lot of injuries. <laughs> Tissue boxes. Yeah, where, where do we get those at? I can't remember where we got uh, it. We got it oh, it's on market. Etsy. It was on Etsy. Was Etsy. It on, no, I thought it was at a farmer's market you got this. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe it was. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. So, yeah. So, someone was making some, like, a uh, merch thing like that. Yeah, but I think, yeah. You, you, I think you can find them on Etsy, though. If you ask nicely, we can we can maybe get our mom to, to make <laughs> one for you. Oh, <laughs> Mammy Sawyer. Yeah, top top 15, O and D, my prediction. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Look, and again, we don't have to be number one, no. right? Even if we're in top 10 or even top 15, just mm-hmm. middle of the pack, we're fine. All I really care about is if our defense can get out of that bottom five. Yep. You know, that's that's please. a big thing. It's like, yeah, please. please. Funny story about uh, Justin Herbert's cards, too. His rookie cards are moving up like crazy. Yeah, they're going wild. Ah, right yeah, they're going okay. wild. Yeah, so okay. so just, just, you know, the reason why that is is because, you know, Harbaugh's done such a great job with quarterbacks. Yep. Look, and it doesn't matter – here, here's the other argument too. If you're Justin Herbert, does it really matter statistically speaking, yeah. or would you rather get W's? Yep. I don't think get W's. W's. I don't think he cares. Well, like, I mean, just what you showed yesterday, and people have seen the stat. What is the what is his record when the defense scores? Oh, I, I allows could, only twenty eight. I could find it. I have I have it right here. It would like, have been like, I mean, it's twenty two and like yeah. six or something like that. Like, oh, I gotta cool. show I gotta show this one right yeah, here too. That that's, that's, Puna, that's Puna four. Dude. That's Puna four, dude. Yeah. Puna four, bro, dude. this this photo right here just <laughs> cracking me up, guys, dude. Hungry, bro. Dude, but but look, the, the look on his face is hilarious. Yeah, like, who's so who's that guy on? Was, was it Fat Albert? What was it? Was it Fat Albert? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, you dude, yeah, hey, 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 hey. Nutty Professor? No, Nutty Professor. But put a four, dude. Oh, bro. Give me some Majin Buu. Like, uh, <laughs> like but I just love it, dude. Like, he going to eat, dude. He going to eat, man. I uh, do put a four, dude. Yeah. I, I think he seemed like a cool guy. He seemed like a cool, like a cool, cool dude. guy and a really cool personality. I mean, even if we get Denzel Perryman, one thing I always liked about him, mm-hmm. he always had, like, a really good personality with yeah. the social media team. Yeah, Correct. Yeah, yeah. He'd always go out there and drink some Gatorade and he says, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> so yep. maybe we'll see him back. Yep. But, yeah, I mean, bottom line, th- if this defense just does a better job of just not allowing them to score, we're going to pace the game out with our run game. We're not going to allow over 28 points. This team will win a ton. Bottom line, yeah. that's mm. all that really, truly, truly matters right oh, now. There is. That's yeah, all that matters. And here we go. And this is the stat right here, too. 22 and 6. 22 and 6. I mean, if we could basically just keep this defense from allowing people to score 28 points on us, we're going to be great. Dude, 28 points. Yeah. Jeez. Guys, do you understand how ridiculous that is? That's still a lot. You that know, is I mean, stupid. A lot. That so is stupid. To just allow a team to get three <laughs> touchdowns and an extra field goal, we'd still be 22 and 6? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. insane. Crazy, right? Yeah. It's just, it's just stupid. It's it's stupid. And 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 it's it's not on Herbert, man. Dude, and we were still, I think, top five yeah. offensively last year. And, dude, come on. Think about that. There's some quarterbacks out there that you could say, uh, what's uh, Wilson, Zach Wilson from, say, like, mm-hmm. the Jets. Now, I'm not comparing yeah. Zach Wilson to – Justin Herbert, by any means, totally different realm as quarterbacks. But the thing is, though, with the Jets, you could basically score like 14 points on them and you're going to get a win. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. it. But their defense did a great job of only right. holding you to 14, but right. you just can't offensively do anything about right, it. Right, right. Yep. So, I mean, you know Justin Herbert could get you over 28 points a game. Easy. Easy. Like, easy. Yep. And then and then you got to remember, too, when you have a good running game, you, sh- you shorten the game as well, too. Yep. Yeah. So we probably won't score as many points, but the right. reality is this there'll be less time for that team to come back also. Yeah, right. Uh, and that's a really good point. Um, <laughs> I did, I don't, I may have seen the same one you saw, but yes, uh, that every, that every time that Mike Davis was pressing, it was man. And every time yeah, that he gave time. a cushion, it was zone. Everyone knows that. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber and I know that like, yeah. come on, dude. And I was like, come on, dude. I'm just saying, um, yeah, it, it was it was stupid. The the way it was very predictable and it was dumb. And you could run crossing routes and you were open every time. Always. Every always, time. Always. Right. Always. Well, and I, I've been watching a little bit of Malik Neighbors like highlights too, and just watching him. He is great in open space. So he oh, yeah. to, he Dude. if you give him uh off coverage, you're, yeah, you're gonna get destroyed. You're gonna get destroyed. Dude, the thing is Malik Steve Smith did a whole breakdown on Malik Neighbors. He says he's the best, yeah, in, in the draft ridiculous um just his footwork and everything he's really good okay eighth to throw your question out for for kyle i guess yeah oh james 
Oh, Christopher. Hey, oh, British up? fan. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Yeah, supported the Chargers for 33 yep. years. Honestly, say I've never been so hyped for the coming season. I, man, I, dude, we're all excited. I mean, this it's is gonna be amazing. such a different era for the Chargers. I mean, just to be able to have Jim Harbaugh here, Joe Ortiz, a different era. I mean, with obviously an elite quarterback. I mean, you got a guy that's a proven winner as a leader. And I mean, yeah. last three coaches have oh. been brutal. I mean, yeah. we could go back to basically the 2000s, pretty much being our most elite times up yeah. till obviously in the 80s yeah. with Eric Coriel, but it, this is an exciting time. Well, I guess you could even say Bobby Ross, too. But <laughs> yeah, Bobby I, Ross. I, I do uh, want to be able to say. he definitely needs to be in yeah, this yeah. conversation. Yeah. I, I definitely say this is an era that I think could be that one that we will always remember as Chargers fans. Yeah. 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 That are going to put us to that next level. There's yeah. Been, you know what? Truth is, there's going to be a, a whole new generation of Chargers fans because of this era it. that we're walking it. into right now. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, and and, and I'll say this, too. Um there's a lot to be said about this guy. I, I see a lot of people going, oh, dude, we're just going to run the ball 100%. Guys, he's never had a quarterback like Justin Herbert. Let's right. just make that very clear. Yeah. The, the, here's the difference. I'm, I'll just break this down. In my, This is my opinion. Take it for what you will. The difference is, is that this guy understands the running game. Well, we've had a crappy running game yep. forever. Yep. I mean, Austin Eckler was not a running back. Yep. He, he was a wide receiver in the backfield. This guy is going to run power. Secondarily, that will open up the play action pass because we got two tight ends and they got to stack the box. Yep. Safety be, will be open. You can hit the right or the left side deep. It's going to open up the passing downfield. Do you realize we ran almost 100% in the light boxes? You know, light boxes like six guys yep. in the box, and we still couldn't run the ball. Yeah. So, what does that tell you? They were in passing. <laughs> Yeah. They, they could play very base defense and they could beat us. That's bad. Yep. Crazy. That's it's bad. Crazy. Yeah. And we got a really good coaching staff around him too. That's going to help on that passing game. Oh yeah. Be a yeah. Lot more uh, all around. Tressman, right? Tressman, yeah, Tressman. Tressman. Mm -hmm. too. I mean, we got a lot of guys on this wow. coaching staff, which is phenomenal. Did they really pay him that much? Him. Oh that's my Ooh. gosh. And that's a Telesco size con contract. You know, <laughs> that's, that's a, a good point. Yeah. That's a that's a great point. I didn't yeah. think about that. Yeah. When just... I was in Vegas, I was driving in and there was this like SUV uh you know driving down the street it had Raider plates on there and everything too. And I was like, I kind of wonder if Wilkins is in that car because it seemed like it would be something that they're like driving around because I was literally driving yeah. past like the stadium yeah. at that point. Oh. And I was thinking maybe they're just showing them the stadium and everything sure, too yeah, and yeah. all that. Could be um and uh yeah, I mean, I hate to be out in Vegas and watching people wear stupid Raider crap, uh, dude. It's so frustrating. Yeah, it's, it's pretty annoying. So frustrating. Yep. But the Ray turds. <laughs> uh, but again, Gus Edwards, you're gonna see a lot of this. I do think we drafted running back. Um, I do again, I've said this a hundred times. You can get Joshua Kelly very cheap. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Who knows? Who knows? Uh Gus but, Bus, man, got guns. Dude, right. dude, look at that, dude. Got guns. Gotta call him Blade. He's Bro. so cut. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, but I mean, but look, guys, again, but but here's the point. That's where the play action pass comes in, right? Tight end comes in. He's gonna just Hurst and Disley are gonna be fullbacks. Also, I don't think we're gonna get a fullback. They're gonna use the tight ends like fullbacks, and so you know it, it'll be it'll be really interesting. I mean, just think about how cool you have Hurst and Disley on the same side, oh. blocking on say like Slater's side, dude. Oh, what are you gonna do at that point? Yeah, 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 yeah. you're screwed. I mean, you're done. You're done. Like. Well, and then and then you, you do that, and then you do a, a bootleg on the opposite side, yeah. throw the ball. You know, everyone's like, here. oh, crap, we got to go to the left side. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Yeah. You're toast. Oh, yeah, he, he did he did wear powder blue. I thought that yeah. was pretty funny, yeah, actually. That was pretty funny. I was like, yeah. Ah, that's awesome. You you know he doesn't want to be there, dude. Freaking Ray turds, dude. Yeah. So oh, funny. man. I said, I would retire. Sorry, I ain't going to be no Raider. He's, he's, well, he's getting paid a lot of money. He's getting paid. He's getting paid. Whatever. Yeah. You got to do your thing. Yep. Um. Yeah, so – Okay, so this is good. Yeah, there's a lot of people talking about who we met with and everything, too, at uh, the Combine, too. And there's actually the top 25, Sorry. I think, you could interview face-to-face -face before the Combines are starting to happen right now, too. So <laughs> I'm excited to see it, see it come around and I, see who we're going to meet I, with. I got a funny story about that, guys. So, okay. Okay, we, we picked up Harbaugh. And we talked about it. You, you guys remember, on, if you guys have been watching our channel at all, we talked about Harbaugh yeah. the, for three weeks straight. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think we did any videos, but on Harbaugh. Yeah. So the reality is this. You, you watch what Kirk Cousins said in his an, a, introductory press conference. Yeah. He'd been talking to the Falcons for three weeks. Yeah. That is completely illegal in yeah. NFL. Uh, so so a lot of these moves have already been done. They're established. Yes. Yeah. So, so just 
understand, guys, like when you start seeing things like um, this one right here, we've already talked about Denzel Perriman, there's a pretty good chance that we're going to get him. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's already probably, dude, there was probably 10 people on yep. X saying he was going to come to the Chargers. Yeah. yeah. Seems like it's going to happen. So, so that's my point, right? So, uh, they, they met with, yeah, the, actually, Jeff we should probably, awesome. we should probably do a video on that on, yeah. on who, yeah, guys. It, it, I mean, at this point, it's almost like the small signings and then yeah. what does the draft look like? Who's the targets kind of thing? Yeah. So we should, guys in the chat, should we do a video on the people we met with, yeah. uh, yeah, 100%. Because we, 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 we haven't done that yet, have we? Yeah, I think that's yeah. a good idea at this point, for sure. Yep. I got a list of some guys. <laughs> An eighth or third question out there again. I don't know if I saw it. We've been kind of fiddling right back and forth. Yeah, you probably kind of I mean, missed it because you're, yeah, you're we're just getting along. I was monologuing, dude. I was monologuing. That's what I was yeah. doing, bro. You mean, you mean y- yammering on? <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, if, oh, here we go. Is this is this your question here? Yeah. If the Chargers average 146 yards a game, will Herbert throw 3,700 yards mm. and 29 touchdowns? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll be over 300 yards total on probably each game plus. So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's you're, the, the question really more or less at that point is, are you saying that, you know, Justin Herbert, Herbert will throw 150 yards a game? Absolutely, he will. Yeah, no, he'll definitely, absolutely. Oh, he will. Yeah, that would yeah. Be, That's like a sure thing. Like, he's yeah. going to probably be about 250 a game, in my opinion, still. I'm, yeah. 100%. Think, yeah, that would be – that's, well, 3,700 yards in the season – that's more than 200. Yeah. So that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So I do that. Yeah. Easily. Easily. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think he'll be over 4,000 yards. Yeah. I think he'll probably be 4,500, maybe even 5,000. I think we could just start donkey punching yeah. teams. I don't know about 5,000, but yeah. 5,000 would be yeah. tough. Yeah. But I, but I, but dude, I, I'll tell you, dude, I just think, man, I just think he's, it's just, it's good. And the funny thing about the draft, I will say this about the draft and, and, Oh man, we're already way over time. We yeah, were expecting. <laughs> yeah. I just I was like, oh. yeah, we, we just. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. We just keep talking to yeah, you guys. I, I apologize. You know, you know, we, just, we just bring the vibes, and we, yeah. we love we love to chat. What about this? So, so you want to do this as last thought, and then we could just yeah go from there. yeah because yeah. we we got to we got to go party with the old man, you know. So, yep. but here's the thing: the cool thing about this draft specifically, I'll say this: there's a lot of good centers, there's a lot of good tackles, yep. there's a lot of good wide receivers. Those are the three things we need right now. So. Oh, this is great. Oh, here we go. Oh, as we do this, we get, we get a, hey, thank you so hey, much. I appreciate that. Pain. Yep. And a, hey, we try to bring the pain, but we also try to bring the positivity of things. hundred percent, hundred percent. Hey, you know, you know, you know what? That's the same price as two of those uh, Butterfinger protein shakes, James. <laughs> Dude, hey, this guy. Hey, I'll tell you what. I haven't heard Jeez, about it. That sounds please, delicious. Tell, tell me more about Butterfinger this. protein shakes, guys. Oh, Blow your balls off. Blow your balls off. I'll tell you. I'll say. Yeah, I'll tell you more about. I'll tell you more about that. Yeah. No, but hey, guys, they're they're incredible. Um, anyways, almond joy, Snickers. That's his last thought. All right, Kyle, what's your last thought? <laughs> hey, but, but but Christine, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. And and by the way, again, hey, he made his choice. Yeah. That's that's probably what I would say. No matter what, yeah. he made his choice. Yeah. You cannot say that they did not want him there. Yeah. So. That's it, right? And 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 thank you so much again. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. Cedric Grand Pran is one of those guys, solid, aggressive, aggressive guy all around. And bull bibs, thanks. Bull bibs. Shout out, man! Shout all the out. all the ladies paying this guy. Wow, this is man. amazing, hey, dude. Guys, got to step it up here, yeah, dude. Come on, dudes. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Hey, Eighth is gonna throw that that, that two hundred dollars <laughs> that he's gonna owe. <laughs> yeah, he's right. gonna owe uh, Justin Jefferson money. We're gonna get that, that Justin, that, that, that Justin Jefferson Jeffers. money. That's right. That's right, that Jay Jenna's money. That's right. I'm still waiting on that one. So I'm good. What percentage would that be of the 200 million he wants? That would be what, oh, what is that? Point zero zero one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Bull Babes. I appreciate it. Thank you, Bull Babes. Yep. But well, you guys want to wrap it up? Yeah. Yes. Wrap it up, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So last thoughts here, guys. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of pain kind of going on a little bit with these moves, but it's a new regime. I mean, new thoughts, new idea, how to be able to give this team in the yeah. right direction. Yeah, Andrew and I yesterday we talked about like when Brandon Staley came in, he wanted to make a good culture. He wanted to make a, a culture that people want to get head coaches from his coaches. Yeah, they want to be able to have a good culture. What culture he created? Well, he created a frat party basically. Yeah, he did for the couple yep. boys. Yeah, Jim Harbaugh is going to be a no nonsense guy. Yep. Yep. Joe Ortiz is no nonsense. You could understand what he's doing right now. Yeah. Bosa took less money to stick around because I think the Jim Harbaugh effect is a real, real thing at this point. And it's an incentive based contract yep. too. And it's incentive. Yeah. Show me what you could do, basically. Mm-hmm. And that's a big thing. And I, I looked at uh, the, the void year for um, 
the contract with um, uh, the void contract with. Uh, <laughs> Like, 100 percent. they've done a great job of really building this team up and <laughs> i'm excited if we keep mac bosa and Tooley on the line again yeah watch last year's highlights guys mm -hmm. that was a menace to deal with yeah a big time to deal all three with, of them so. on the field was, was crazy well yeah and, and there's look i agree and you know that the, the so, so, oh the, you got one up oh we got oh, one in there now What's oh there? my you dog my dog oh dude there it is thank you baby let's yes. go Guys, have I told you about those Butterfinger protein yeah, shakes? They, oh, that's, that's, not that's not hydrating. It is hydrating. It's no, hydrating. No, glutamines. No, no. Glutamines. The problem is, is it's, it's, a, it's an orange color, and it's reminding him of his Butterfinger. Uh, oh, that's exactly right. Yeah. My Butterfinger. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you but missed. but but again, guys, it's exciting. I'm excited. And again, thank you so much again, um, Perriman. It looks like he's coming back. Um, and yes, we'll enjoy our Guinness responsibly. Mm -hmm. I'll say this. My final thought. This is. You, you already had your final thought. Isn't oh, it? I guess I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Butterfinger, <laughs> butter, 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 protein yeah, shakes. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll uh, give you a link of the, uh, the uh, I am, recipe. Uh, I, I'm really thirsty base. for a Butterfinger uh, protein shake right now. You oh know, yes, so, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. I will make one. I will make one. I will make one. We'll, oh, yeah. we'll take a photo of it. I will make one, and then we'll, we'll post it on the page. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, okay. Going back on the Keenan Allen thing, it's like it's <laughs> it was a real bummer though because oh my uh, gosh, I love it. You know, Thank you guys. His press conference, he did say how he's like, okay, like they they came to him with the deal to to make the cut, and he's like, dude, I just got off my best year. Yeah. Why would I want to do that? Yeah, so, I get that. Yep, and makes so, sense. and I totally understand where he's coming from on that, but mm -hmm. he's probably also took a sniff of the coaching room because he's like, okay, they're gonna run the ball more, <laughs> less opportunities for him to get another thousand yards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How's he know? No. Yeah, well, oh, man. What's going on? Under the shirt there. I think you got some inside information here, bro. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But uh, oh, that's funny. So, like, like I said, it's gonna be it's a weird reset right now with our whole offense. Like all of our a lot of our skill positions, like we have all of our veteran players are pretty much gone. Like yeah. you know, yeah, we still got some veterans, a couple of year veterans, but not like people that are on their second or third year contracts anymore. You know, so. Okay. Yeah, and that's going to need to be addressed, I think, in some way. And it can be addressed for cheap. So <laughs> um, I think we're going to we're going to see some positive changes in the next week. And uh, so we'll, we'll get we'll keep you guys informed as much as we can Absolutely. on all of it. Absolutely, yes, 100 percent, guys. Yeah, and we're, we're going to be this this the stripping warriors. <laughs> it's going to be sick. Uh, uh, we'll, 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 we'll do the special show for the bolt babes the i bolt, like that the bolt strip <laughs> now, what's going on yeah, yeah. this podcast going off the There's rails off the rails guys yeah, off yeah. the rails all right gotta cut it yeah, cut it cut it cut, cut it cut. Out, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right guys Pros, no nipple talk let's go yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, th I think it's time for a butterfinger protein shake okay guys let's go <laughs> all right guys we're out, out here. Bolt Bros, let's go let's go